Good day, students. So welcome to uh, clip number seven on proof by mathematical induction. Remember that you can find a wide variety of math tutorials on mathbookserve.com. So visit it and check it out. So before we look at um, the problem on the consideration, we are going to um, write down the plan of attack. Okay, so this is a plan that we're going to use to solve to prove that um, a statement is true by induction. So step number one is the base case. <clears throat> it's known as the base case. And then for the base case, you have to show, show that the statement is true, show true for n equals, it could be um, one or any number that's the smallest number that satisfies um, the set of integers where the statement is true. So let's just say n equals one, just for the purposes of this problem. It could uh, vary. Uh, number two, you have the next step is the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. So for this one, um, you have to assume that the statement is true for n equals a. So you're going to assume, you have to state this explicitly, assume n equals k is true. Okay, for some integer k. And then the next part is known as the inductive step. Inductive step. In inductive step, we have to show that n equals k is true implies that n equals k plus 1 is also true. Is also true. So just like a domino effect, okay? If you can show that if um, it's true for n equals k implies true for n equals k plus 1, then the pattern continues forever. Okay, so imagine n equals one is our k. And if you show that n equals one is true, implies that n equals two is true. They have one to two, two to three, and then for all integers um, for the statement. Okay, so that's the whole, the basic idea behind um, mathematical induction. All right, so let's take a look at an example. So let's write it down. So the problem is <clears throat> prove that. that um, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus da 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 plus um, 2n minus 1. This represents uh, odd numbers, as you can see, 1, 3, 5, 7. Prove that, prove that this is equal to n squared for all n in a set of natural numbers, okay? And out instead of all natural numbers. Okay, so that's what we're going to show. So let's go ahead and start with our proof. So for our proof, we're going to break it into three parts. Part one is the base case, all right? So what are we going to show in the base case? We want to show that n equals one is true, okay? So if I plug in uh, 1 for n on the left side of this equation, do I get uh, the same result on the right side by plugging in 1? That's what we have to show. Okay, so this is the base case. So for the base case, we know that we have the statement 2n minus 1. Is it equal to n squared? Okay, now let's put in um, for n equals 1. Let's put in 1. So we have 2 times 1 minus 1, is that equal to 1 squared? Simplify it. Is 2 minus 1 equal 1? 2 minus 1 is 1. Is, it, is 1 equal to 1? Absolutely. So this checks out. So we've been able to show that the base case is true. This is basically like the foundation. Okay, the foundation of developing our um, proof by induction. Now we're going to pick an arbitrary k in n to formulate our inductive hypothesis. So inductive hypothesis. All right. So for inductive hypothesis, we're going to assume um, n equals k is true for some n, uh, I'm sorry, for some k in the set of uh, natural numbers. All right, so we're going to assume that that is true. 
Now, uh, how do we write that down? So we get, we have to explicitly state what it is. So we're going to assume, assume that, now how do we um, show that n is equals k is true? What we're simply going to do is we're going to take this problem right here. We're going to substitute k for n. Okay? We're going to substitute k for n. And then we're going to assume that that statement is true. All right? So let's go ahead and do that. So assume that. Um, 1 plus 2, I'm sorry, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus dot 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 plus instead of 2n minus 1, we're going to write 2k minus 1 is equal to instead of n square, we have k square for some k in n, okay? Not all, for some k in n. We're just fixing it Picking an arbitrary natural number. Okay. All right. Now we have our we've state made our inductive hypothesis by making this assumption that this equation or this statement is true. Okay. Now the third and final part is our inductive step. So what can we prove using this hypothesis? So part three is our inductive inductive step. So what are we going to do in our inductive step? For inductive step, we're simply going to, um, what we're going to try to do here is show that um, if n equals k is true, implies that n equals k plus 1 is also true. OK? So this indicates that that domino effect continues forever. So that's what we're going to show. So to start this off, we're going to um, rewrite the left-hand side of the statement using k plus 1. Uh, and then we're going to see if we have a resulting uh, k plus 1 square on the right side here. OK, so let me just let me just write down what I want, want it to be. Don't write this down. This is scratch work. So this is the end result. We want. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus da 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 plus instead of 2k, 2k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, I want to show that this is equal to k plus 1 squared. If we can show this, then we're done. Okay, if we can show this using this as a component of our argument, then we have been able to, been able to prove that the statement is true for all and in the set of natural numbers, all right? So this is what we want to have in mind. Sometimes it's good to write this down so you have a visual as to what your target is. Um, but if you already, if, the, if this is too elementary for you, you don't have to, to write down what the, your target result should look like, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and prove that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, the left side of this statement right here. So we have, we're going to go 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, plus da, 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 plus 2k minus 1. Now, what's the, what's the next number going to be? The next number is going to be plus 2 times k plus 1 minus 1. All right? Okay, so this is the next, taking the next step, as it indicates your inductive step, n is equal to k plus 1. We just started from this, and then we added the next number all right now let's see what we can do here can do you see any component of this equation that shows up in our in our inductive hypothesis the answer is yes you see, this entire piece right here is in our inductive hypothesis what did we say this is equal to in our inductive hypothesis in our inductive hypothesis, we say that this statement is equal to k squared. So we can substitute this entire piece right here with k squared. Okay? So we have k squared plus, now let's distribute the 2 here, 2k plus 2 minus 1. Okay? Let's make a remark on the side here um, from um, 2, our assumption. That's our inductive hypothesis. We already assumed that this is true, that this whole thing is equal to that. All right? Now let's see if we can end up with k plus 1 quantity square as a result of the substitution. All right, so it's just algebra from here. 
simplified is we have k squared plus 2k plus 1. And then if we factor this, this factors into uh, k plus 1 times k plus 1. This is a um, perfect square trinomial, and this is just k plus 1 quantity squared. And that's exactly what we want, okay? So what did we just show? Using our inductive hypothesis, well, we just showed that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus, da, 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 plus 2k minus 1 plus 2k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 squared. All right? So let's write our concluding remark. Um, so since the statement, so the statement is true for the base case n equals 1 and truth for n equals k by our inductive hypothesis implied that n equals k plus 1 is also true, then the statement, the statement is true for all n in the set of natural numbers. Okay, so I can put our box of accomplishment to show that um, our proof is complete. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other um, cool clips such as this. And do post a comment in the comment section below to let us know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on math.serve.com as indicated earlier. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.